So you're wondering what it's like to draw on the Samsung Note 8? Well, stick with me, I'll tell you all about it. Okay, so I've had the Samsung Note 8 now for about, well, only a few hours, and straight away, here is the line quality on this phone. This is the first phone that I'm really excited about from an artist standpoint. This phone has Wacom technology in it and as an artist I'm really really excited about that. You can see the line quality here. I haven't changed any of the brush dynamics. This is the Painter app. That's not Corel Painter, that's just a Painter app. And it's really really good. I'm not messing around with the brush all of the line quality that you can see is coming straight out of the fact that this pen uses over 4,000 levels of pressure and it all depends on how I tilt the pen, rotate the pen. This is the S Pen that comes with this. Go and watch my review. Go and watch a lot of other reviews that are already out there. Most of them don't talk about the S Pen in depth or don't even mention the Wacom technology. But you can see how great this pen is straight off the bat. I can change the, the pen settings around and fiddle with them a bit here as you see me doing, but it depends how much pressure I'm using and the way I'm tilting the pen. If you just watch how I'm using this, yeah, I'm using this exactly how I would use a normal Wacom stylus. And this is absolutely great. This uses their EMR technology, and this is the same stylus technology that you will find in the latest Intuos Pro, and also in the Wacom Mobile Studio, which is kind of their flagship mobile device. Now, this is very, very impressive. This has over 4,000 levels of pressure. This is something that most drawing tablets for artists don't have, let alone a mobile phone. So I was, yeah, of course, I was blown away by this when I, I read the specs, saw the news that this was coming out, and of course, I had to get this for myself and review it for you guys. I just wanted to see how well you could draw on this. I've wanted a phone with a real stylus for a long, long time. This was on my my tech tick list. So I got this phone. I unboxed this phone. And the first thing I wanted to do was a little rough sketch like this, check it out and just see how well it copes. And this sketch, all in all, took 20 minutes and I was just so thoroughly impressed. I'm not doing anything unusual. This is just a normal Android painting app. Here you can see I'm now beginning to blur and blend this. I'm not doing anything that you couldn't find me doing in a normal painting app. Now what's the point of this? The point of this is I could immediately take this out of my pocket when I'm on the go. You know, when I'm talking to a client, when I'm in front of a client, I could take this out and just start sketching down an idea for a book cover or for a latest piece that I'm working on and just start doodling away. But the good thing is I can actually do this in detail. I don't like carrying around a notebook everywhere with me. I like to be paper free, you know, we all to be a little self-conscious about the world. So yeah. I like to just have a few things on me at all times. You know, when I'm walking out the door, I think wallet, keys, phone. Yeah, that's good enough. I don't want to carry around extra things. Having a phone on me that I know is a good sketchbook, that is a top priority. And yeah, you can see I'm not changing brushes. I've got one brush. I may change the opacity. I may change the size of the brush, but I'm not doing that often. As you can see in this entire sketch, I probably do that about four or five times, but realistically, this is the first sketch I've ever, ever done with the Samsung Note 8. In future sketches, I might not even ever change my brush size again, at least not really. So those four or five times that I change my brush size here, this is me just getting used to the phone. 
I'm going to do more videos, so make sure you subscribe and, you know, keep checking back on my channels. Click that little bell icon and keep watching. And I will upload more videos and I'm going to be doing a lot more drawing on my phone, basically. But you can see I'm just coming back and forth and adding more and more detail. But I'm really zoomed in on this image as well now. You know, it's good because this allows me to do loads of little sketches and upload things to Instagram and Facebook and let you know what I'm working on and let my clients know what I'm working on. Just generally I have a little fluidity within my workspace and that for me is excellent. You know I can spend more time with my family, more time just jotting down ideas. It means I never have to lose a thought because I always have my phone on me. You know I never go anywhere without it. That's absolutely brilliant and I've wanted this for such a long time now. I'm not one of those guys who upgrades his phone every year, but now that I have a phone with uh, a stylus, that means a lot. And I think that we've all been waiting for this. We waited for the Surface phone that got nicknamed the Unicorn because it never actually showed up. Apple, they've just, you know, they've just announced their new phone and guess what? Yeah, no pencil support. We, we kind of wanted it, but yeah this phone it doesn't just have a good stylus it actually has a Wacom stylus so you know you can trust it and it does feel like a Wacom stylus as well I mean obviously not in its shape but the response that you get from this stylus you know its usability this is the first sketch I've done with it and I'm immediately at home with it so if you're a Wacom artist if you're a Wacom user then I think, like me, you're going to be immediately at grips with it. Now, I was worried this is an expensive phone, but immediately I'm so happy with this. The screen isn't as big as I thought it was, but it's a perfect size for my hands. Now, I have good sized hands, I won't, I won't lie about that, but the, the last phone I had was a large phone. It, the screen was actually a tiny bit wider than this and I, I was kind of like this is large but this phone is very comfortable in the hands and still amazingly big so I'm, I'm completely happy with this as a drawing size I wouldn't really want it any larger than this completely completely happy with this all around for a drawing experience this is absolutely perfect you can see I've done a sketch here that now if I was out on the go, if I was around at somebody else's house, if I was with a client in a meeting room at a hotel, I do meet clients in hotel foyers and stuff like that, and cafes and yeah. Uh, <laughs> if I was with a client or something, I could then do this in enough detail for the client to be happy, then take it back to the studio and work on it. And that is the main point. And I think for the money, this is totally worth that for artists I think is the perfect phone and as a YouTuber the camera on it I've had a great amount of fun with I haven't shot a YouTube video on it yet but I will shoot some videos on that so stay tuned for that this for me the great camera and the great stylus just seems that perfect combination for you guys also being creatives I think the combination of those two together as well is going to be absolutely awesome. If you're a current iPhone user, you know, like I was in the past and I was an iPhone user since very early days, then it's going to be a tough choice to kind of stay with Apple when you've got somebody offering you an awesome stylus like this, especially when it's less money than the iPhone X. So let me know your thoughts and uh, I'll speak to you soon. Well, thanks for watching. Be sure to comment, like, and even subscribe to my channel, Lawrence Can Draw. And if you really did like what you saw here, you can see more of it on my website lawrenceman.co.uk. I'll see you next time.